Hey everyone, so today I'm going to try to install this Kenwood head unit on my 2006 Scion XP. I'm going to remove my current stereo and see if this uh, harness wire fits. I got this on Amazon and it said it's for Toyotas or Scions um, 1987 and up. Before we begin, we should always remove the negative terminal from the battery when doing anything with electronics. This is to prevent shorts from happening. I'm gonna try to have to remove this uh, center console piece to take out the radio. First you remove these uh, knobs. And there's two screws. Next, you gently pull from the bottom. With that out, you'll see four screws that's holding on the uh, factory installed head unit. And we want to remove those four. Now that we got the factory head unit removed, we're just going to do a quick comparison to make sure the harness I bought from Amazon will fit correctly. Seems like it. Seems like it's a good fit. Alright, we're going to go inside for the next step. We found out that the harness fit. We're gonna do some soldering. Basically, you just take the instructions from the harness you bought and match it up with the instruction of the new head unit. I think all the colors match exactly the right, right way. So you'll see like it says green, the green wire is the left rear speaker and the instruction set of the new head unit says green is left rear speaker. So let's get started with some soldering. Okay, so now that the harness is all soldered and the colors match, we have to use a install kit. That's because the old one is a double din um, and the new head unit is single din. So I bought this off eBay for about $10. And um, it's made of plastic. You just assemble it and screw the four screws in. So this way it's it's mounted and it should ideally fit right into the mounting slot. So now you plug your Amazon harness that you soldered into the two OEM ports and the other end will plug right into your new head unit. Just gonna tidy up the wires a little bit with electrical tape. There you go. Now it's nice and tidy for me to push the new head unit in. So now I'm going to run the mic. The new head unit comes with a microphone so you can have a uh, Bluetooth hands-free calling. I'm um, going to run it underneath the steering and up the pillar here. So I took off the pillar here and just snaked the wire around here underneath come out here gonna tidy it up I'm gonna run this all the way up and uh, plug it in so this is about it uh, we would have to plug the microphone the harness 
and the antenna in. And I'm gonna reconnect the battery and see if there's any sound. Moment of truth. Alright, let's see. Accessory on. Oh, there's something. Cancel demo. Tuner. Looks like their sound. So now that the radio works, we're gonna compare where the mounting points are on the OEM radio and the new head unit. So it seems like there's a couple of extra tabs that are not necessary. Looks like it's this one and the one inside. So I'm just gonna snip it off. Looks like fits right in. Now just to put back the original screws and we should be set. So now that they're sound, everything is mounted. We can put back the center count console. Just the same way we did. Well, that's it. Snap the same pieces back. And um, here's a new head unit. Hope this was helpful.